What we would like to do now is to give you a live demonstration. We are sitting on the top of a coal mine. The coal seam is approximately 50 meters down. So what we'll do now is just to show you some of the equipment and then to physically rescue the first person from underground. So on completion of the drilling of the pro bowl, the MRS personnel will then lower the borehole camera down. The borehole camera is housed in that red trailer and you can see the operator sitting inside of the trailer and we've also got the gas chromatograph inside of that trailer. We have already lowered the borehole camera. You can see there it's 50 meters down the hole. We have got a 500 meter umbilical cord and this camera is rated 60 bar. It's actually made to go 500 meters underwater. We have used it numerous occasions. You will notice that at about 56 meters, it is the end of the pro bowl itself. And you can see the trapped persons. We will determine how many are there, what are their conditions, what do they require. That is the Shram 180XD rescue hole. It has got an automatic system to case the overburden. Once we have drilled through the overburden, they will then install a drill bit of 660 millimeter in diameter. That will be the final size of the hole that we will drill. On completion of the drilling of the rescue hole, the MRS rescue winder will be placed over the rescue hole. Ladies and gentlemen, the capsule is 500 millimeters in diameter. Inside of the capsule, we have got the CCTV camera. We have also got an oxygen cylinder with a resuscitator. And we've also got the capabilities that if a person is unconscious, he can be placed in a full body harness and we can pull him out. You will now note that they will raise the capsule slowly. They will open the hole and the capsule will now be guided into the hole. This unit has got all the safety devices, the same as any winder on a mine. It has got its first three turn slowdown safety device. Then thereafter, the maximum speed, as I said, that we can reach is 0.5 meters per second, but um, we go down this hole at 0.35 meters per second. The rope itself is a 13 millimeter non-spin rope, and the length of our rope is 1,300 meters. This mobile winder has been licensed by the DMR to be operated on any mine in South Africa. We have got two means of communication. The one is through a shaft radio system built by Caduza that we can speak directly to the person in the capsule. Safety devices is that we've got a load cell for the slack rope and tight rope. We've got a CH4 sensor as well as CO sensor. In the event of any flammable gas, the driver will get a warning immediately and we will retract the capsule back to surface. It takes approximately five minutes the trip down the hole. Notice the first rescuer, he will then communicate to all the trapped persons and by means of a triage system, they will decide who will be the first person to be rescued. This person will be briefed on exactly what to do this person will have an open line of communication at all times to the driver and a lock will be inserted from the outside so that the untrained person inside the capsule cannot inadvertently open the door. We do have magnetic switches on the door so if it opens the unit will trip out automatically. Once in the capsule the rescuer will then signal to the driver that they can now start to raise the first person to surface.